Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my channel. Today in this video I am going to show you how to install MinGW compiler. And after that I am also going to show you how to run a simple hello world C program with the help of MinGW compiler. So if you want to code in C or C++ program then you need to stick around with this video so that you will be able to learn how to install MinGW compiler and then how to start coding in C or C++ language. So do watch the video till the end I can guarantee you that you will be learning a lot of new things and if you face any issues in middle you can always comment in our comment section so I'll try my best to help you. So to install MinGW compiler first you need to go to your favorite browser. And I just want to mention one thing that I, I have started this Geeky Syntax channel. So here you, you are going to get programming and coding related videos. So please do subscribe our channel that will really motivate me to make even more videos. And this I have started one vlogging channel. So if you are interested you can also subscribe this channel. Now for MinGW compiler you need to first simply search over here MinGW download. And this will show you this MinGW minimalistic GNU for Windows download. So you need to open that. When you click on that, it's going to redirect to the official site of SourceForgeNet. So here you can see we have this big download button. So you need to click on that download button and it's going to start downloading our MinGW compiler within 5 seconds. So here you can see it is, you know, the setup is rightly downloaded over here. So you click on this setup and here you need to just simply click on install anyway. So this will open this MinGW setup version window. So you need to minimize your browser first. So here you can just simply click on install. So this is our you know uh, license agreement. So you can view this license agreement. So I'll just you know simply click on continue over here, and you can see that our download is rightly began right. So now it is fetching all the files from internet and I'm going to show you all of that within you know a few minutes. So thing is you need to have active internet connection right throughout this installation and you can see that all the 139 items are you know rightly processed so you can just you know simply click on continue over here and this will show you this MinGW installation manager window. So here you can see that we have under package we have some options right. So what I am going to do is I am going to you know select one by one and I am going to select this mark for installation for all the items. So you know keep on uh, repeating doing the same. So it's going to install our MinGW compiler. So you know now that I, I can see that I have selected uh, all the items. So after that what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this, this installation menu and I'm going to click on this apply changes. So when you do that it will show you this schedule of pending actions. So can see that all these items it's going to be you know installed or upgrade so it is fine you need to just simply click on this apply and it's going to start downloading our you know uh, all the libraries all the packages all compiler everything now so you need to have active internet connection so we can see it is currently you know fetching files from our source force.net and it is installing it locally on our system so it takes time you know so once we are done with this I am going to come back to this video. So welcome back and now you can clearly see that all changes were applied successfully. So you can see everything is done now so you can just you know simply click on close now you can also close this window. So now that uh, our MinGW is properly installed so it's time to set our environment path variable. So for that you need to go to your C drive and you need to you know you'll be seeing that we have this MinGW folder rightly created over here within our C drive right. So you to go inside that MinGW folder and you will be getting the bin folder over here. So go inside that bin folder and here you can see that we have lot of files right. So everything is properly set. So only just one thing that is left is you need to you know just simply click on this address bar right click and copy this path you can minimize this you can just simply click on the search icon now and here you need to just simply type environ so when you type environ you will get this edit the system environment variable open that and here under system properties you need to click on this environment variables it will open this environment variables window so here you need to click on this path and you need to click on edit when you click on edit it will open this you know edit environment variable window you have to click on new and right click and paste that path that mean gw slash bin path over here 
now you can just simply click on okay then again okay and again okay so now if we again go to the search and just simply type cmd to open our comment prompt and here if we just simply type g plus plus dash dash version and hit enter you can see that our latest version of mingw is you know rightly installed and it is properly showing this prompt so if you see this similar type of prompt then all that basically mean is our mingw compiler is rightly installed so now it's time for coding all right so you don't need to worry about compiler and all now so it's installed it's time for coding so right click create a new folder so let's give the folder name as c prompts so here in this folder i'm going to write about all the c programs so i'll just simply right click and i'm going to create a new text document and here i'm going to give the file name as hello world dot c i'm going to remove this dot uh, txt extension i'm going to change it to dot c so sometimes you might not be seeing uh, this dot c or dot txt this file uh, type extension so for that what you need to do is you need to click on this view and to click on the show and here you need to enable this file name extension so that's a very important step all right so once you see that this is checked file name extension is checked you can see the extension dot c or dot cpp dot cpp is for c plus plus or dot py for python so in my you know this channel you will be getting a lot of videos on python java javascript so there i have used all different type of file the file name extensions right so uh, that is pretty much all about it so we are writing now a sample c program so i'm going to name it dot c so simply open the file in notepad and uh, let's write a simple you know program so hash include hdio.h and i'm going to write int main and within the int main i'm going to write a simple print test statement hello world all right hello world and i'm going to after that return zero right so you know just simply write this much go to file save this file then click on this address bar of this folder and type cmd so hit enter so what you'll see is you'll see that uh, our you know it, yeah, our command prompt is rightly open within this folder itself so it's the proper path so now to run you need to just simply type gcc then the file name which is hello world right so hello and world dot c hit enter you'll be seeing that our program is properly compiled and it is generated one a dot txt you need to just simply type to run you need to just simply type a that is the file name of that uh, exe and hit enter and you can see the output hello world rightly coming on our console right so in this way you can easily install latest version of MinGW compiler on a Windows operating system and after that I have also shown you how to run a simple hello world C program on a Windows operating system. So you know also subscribe our Geeky Syntax channel so if I get you know good amount of sub subscription then I am going to post regularly coding and programming related videos. So that's basically all about this video. Thank you very much for watching this video and God bless you all.